In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert between units of temperature, Fahrenheit, Celsius to Kelvin. So let's say if you want to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius. It's simply a one-step process. But if you want to go from Fahrenheit to Kelvin, you need to convert it to Celsius first and then to Kelvin. Likewise, going from Kelvin to Celsius is simply a one-step process. But to go from Kelvin to Fahrenheit, it's easy if you find the Celsius temperature and then convert it to Fahrenheit. So you want to do it in that order. So let's say if we have a temperature of 212 Fahrenheit. How can you calculate the Celsius temperature and the Kelvin temperature at the same time? Now first, let's calculate the Celsius temperature. The equation that you want to use between Fahrenheit and Celsius is this equation. The Fahrenheit temperature is 1.8 times the Celsius temperature plus 32. So in this case, since we're looking for the Celsius temperature, plug in the Fahrenheit temperature into this variable. So it's going to be 212, and that's equal to 1.8 times the Celsius temperature plus 32. If you want to, you can write the equation as F is equal to 1.8C plus 32. It might be easier to write it that way. So Let's write it like that. So I'm just going to put a C here instead. So let's solve for C. Let's subtract 32 from both sides. 212 minus 32, that's going to be 180. Now our last step to solve for C is to divide both sides by 1.8. And it turns out that 180 divided by 1.8 is 100 which is the boiling point of water. So water boils at 100 degrees Celsius or 212 Fahrenheit. Now the next thing that we need to do is convert the Celsius temperature to Kelvin. How can we do that? What equation do we need? It turns out that the Kelvin temperature is simply the Celsius temperature plus 273.15. Now, most of the time, you could ignore the 0.15, but it is there. But we're going to say just 273. So 100 plus 273 is 373. So this is the Kelvin temperature. And that's how you convert from Celsius to Kelvin. Simply add 273 to it. So now it's your turn. Feel free to work on this example. Let's say if you have a temperature of negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Go ahead and calculate the Celsius temperature first, and then calculate the Kelvin temperature after that. And then when you're done, unpause the video and see if you have the right answer. So let's go ahead and begin. Now we know that the Fahrenheit temperature is equal to 1.8 times the Celsius temperature plus 32. So let's take this number and replace F with it. So negative 40 is equal to 1.8 times C plus 32. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to subtract both sides by 32. We need to perform the opposite of addition. The opposite of addition is subtraction. And these two numbers will cancel. Negative 40 minus 32, that's negative 72. And our next step is to divide. Since 1.8 is multiplied to C, we need to do division. Division is the opposite of multiplication. So at this point, we need a calculator. Negative 72 divided by 1.8 is negative 40. So this is the one temperature where the Celsius and the Fahrenheit temperature will be the same. Negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit is the same as negative 40 degrees Celsius. Now the last step is pretty straightforward. Let's convert negative 40 degrees Celsius to Kelvin. To do that, all we need to do is add 273. So what is negative 40 plus 273? Negative 40 plus 273 is the same as 273 minus 40. You can reverse the numbers. For example, 5 plus 3 is the same as 3 plus 5. 5 plus 3 is 8, 3 plus 5 is 8, so 
we can reverse them. So 273 minus 40 is 233. So this is the Kelvin temperature. Now let's work backwards. Let's say if we have a temperature of 298 Kelvin. How can we convert it to Celsius and then convert the Celsius temperature back into Fahrenheit? So let's use the equation Kelvin is equal to Celsius plus 273. In this case, if you're solving for the Celsius temperature, it's Kelvin minus 273, and that's equal to the Celsius temperature. So all we got to do is subtract 273 from 298. Well, let's write it this way. 8 minus 3 is 5. 9 minus 2, I mean 9 minus 7, wow, that's 2. 2 minus 2 is 0, so this is uh, 25 degrees Celsius. That's equal to 298 Kelvin. So now let's convert the Celsius temperature to Fahrenheit. So let's use the equation Fahrenheit is equal to 1.8 times the Celsius temperature plus 32. So this time, we just need to plug in the Celsius temperature for C. So it's 1.8 times 25 plus 32. 25 times 1.8 that's 45 and 45 plus 32 is 77 so the temperature is 77 degrees Fahrenheit that's equal to 25 degrees Celsius which is 298 Kelvin now let's try another example let's say the Kelvin temperature is 400 Go ahead and calculate the Celsius temperature and the Fahrenheit temperature. So feel free to pause the video as you work on this particular example. So to find the Celsius temperature, all we got to do is subtract by 273. So 400 minus 273 is 127 degrees Celsius. So now let's calculate the Fahrenheit temperature. So Fahrenheit is equal to... 1.8 times the Celsius temperature plus 32. So let's replace C with 127. So it's going to be 1.8 times 127 plus 32. 1.8 times 127. That's about 228.6. And let's add 32 to that result. So this is equal to 260.6. So that's the Fahrenheit temperature. So 400 Kelvin is equal to 127 degrees Celsius, which is equal to 260.6 Fahrenheit. So as you can see, these problems are not that difficult. So this is going to be the final example. Go ahead and convert 0 Kelvin to Celsius and Fahrenheit. Zero Kelvin is also known as absolute zero. This is the coldest temperature possible. The temperature can never be less than zero Kelvin. This is the theoretical coldest temperature. So to convert it to Celsius, we're going to get the ex exact figure this time. Let's subtract it by 273.15. So the coldest temperature in Celsius is negative 273.15. Celsius. Now let's find out what the Fahrenheit temperature is at this particular temperature. So Fahrenheit is equal to 1.8 times the Celsius temperature plus 32. So let's take this number and let's plug it into the equation. So 1.8 times negative 273.15 plus 32. So what's 1.8 times 273.15? It turns out that this is equal to negative 491.67. So let's add 32 to this particular number. So you should get a temperature of 
negative 459.67. So this is the Fahrenheit temperature at absolute zero. So the coldest temperature in Fahrenheit is negative 459.67. And the coldest temperature in Celsius is negative 273.15, which is equal to absolute zero or zero Kelvin. So now you know how to convert between Kelvin, Celsius, and Fahrenheit. So that is it for this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.